I watched this game, Stuart, and I think a lot of people would have been forgiven for thinking when you have man sent off, limb sent off, they're going, oh, no, this is it now. City are going to open them up. Um, it's going to be a real struggle. Uh, we saw the absolute opposite of that. What was the message from the manager? And, and, and was there a message or did you guys just know what to do? Yeah, it's difficult. Obviously, you don't plan for, for a situation when you go down to 10 men. Uh, you know, it's never easy playing against any team with 11 and, and playing against Man City for the majority of the game or for the second half anyway with 10 men. It's obviously difficult. Uh, we knew that, uh, you know, in the second half that they were trying, going to try and make a pitch big as they do. And, and our best option was to try and leave their two their two centre halves on the ball. If out of anybody, that's who you want want to leave as good as they are uh, mm. and yeah we just we because we're so man for man as well it's, it's, it's difficult when we go down to 10 men and you find yourself in a situation where you've then got to play in between two players and and it was difficult um, but you know I thought we defended really really well we I know they had a lot of uh, you know possession and, and, and shots and target uh, you know crosses into the box but I thought on a whole we defended really really well and and then obviously we were able to break away at the end and, and get a winner. Hey, Stu, it's Troy here, mate. Um, hey, Troy. Just, you know, what is the secret behind it, mate? Because we've all been there in those games when you're down to 10 men and you're sitting in and you're, ah, oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. But you guys just had an unwavering confidence that you was going to get another chance. And obviously Patrick came off and then you took um, the, other, the other striker off as well and put another defender yeah. on. Where was that confidence that you guys knew there was going to be another chance coming? Well, I think obviously as the game was wearing on, you'll know yourself from, from playing, as the game was wearing on and, and, you know, the minutes were ticking down and I always felt that if we could just have a bit more composure on the ball and, you know, be a bit braver on the ball that we would get an opportunity and and just before obviously the, the chance that, um, just before the, uh, that I scored, we had another chance with Rafinha who's gone through and you're hoping that that's, that's a chance and he, and he takes it and, uh, he's tried to go around the keeper and, and obviously then uh, you're thinking right well we'll, we'll hold on here till, till a 1-1 one, one draw and, uh, but as I say it, it just felt like we needed to have a bit more composure on the ball uh, believe a bit in ourselves and, and because you know, it was backs against the wall and nobody probably gave us a chance and uh, you know when, when you're going through then in the, in the last minute you're just sort of hitting and, and hoping and <laughs> hoping that it goes in <laughs> Yeah um, Stu talk me through how Bielsa sort of uh, sets you up in games like that because you, watching you this season you, there's you have a style you have a philosophy of doing it and you don't you don't change for no one even manchester city is yeah. is that just something that you work on every day then he is you know very intense with this is how we're doing it yeah well you may call us crazy and and maybe naive at times as well but crazy you know, we we set up all <laughs> week till <laughs> crazy yeah we it was our game plan to go there and and, and try and win the game as as we always do we never change uh, and obviously that that game plan changes when you go down to 10 men and we just didn't lose anybody on Saturday we lost our leader and our captain uh, you know the voice in our back line as well so that was obviously difficult um, and you don't you don't train for these situations and so we, we had to change our game plan obviously uh, and then you know we rode our luck at times of course we did but I think nobody can deny that that you know, take that away from us because we defended really, really well and, and, you know, we were still willing to run at the end to, to get an opportunity. How were you finding it though, mate? Because I remember playing against you at Brentford when you was a yeah. right winger. Now you're left back, right back, centre midfielder. How are you finding the uh, the new experience? Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a different challenge for me every week. Um, you know, I've enjoyed the step up. Uh, again, question marks going into the season, whether, you know, whether... As individuals, we were good enough because you know there wasn't too many of us that had played at this level. Um, so there's obviously them question marks, and you know as the seasons wore on, I've become more and more comfortable playing, uh, you know, playing at this level, and and I'm just enjoying it at the minute. Uh, you know, I've I've done all right this season. Uh, I'm hoping that there's still a lot more to come uh, towards the end of the season, and uh, just taking it one game at a time. Every, every week's a different challenge uh, for us. You know, we're we're getting the opportunity to play against the best players in the world, and. Uh, just trying to embrace it really and, and enjoy it as much as we can now that we've that we've you know achieved that safety mark of of you know being in the league for uh, another season next year. It's it's all about trying to enjoy it now as much as much as we can. Uh, you know these last remaining games. Stuart, it's no surprise really that um, 
the team that were promoted up to the Premier League, lots of um, question marks over certain people's heads because there were sections of the media and perhaps fan bases that didn't think that you could move a, a, a predominantly championship side into the Premier League without making that many changes. That's what Marcelo Bielsa has done and has created Premier League players out of each and every one of you. I remember we've spoken before about what he did during lockdown, whereas some teams were given a bit of a holiday and some time off. The opposite for you guys happened, where you were given more training to do, more running, really grueling exercises. When you hit 40 in the Premier League, that magic number, did it up even more? What did he say to you? He didn't say nothing. He, he doesn't change. He just, uh, I think maybe in the back of his head that he that he knows that we've achieved safety. Uh, but he doesn't he doesn't look at it like that. We're a very, very ambitious team. We want to, as you know, it's, as we've said before, we go into every game to try and win. Uh, and we'll continue to do that. And now that we've we've achieved that that 40 point mark, uh, we're looking to push on now. And of course it's going to be hard to break into the top 10. Uh, you know, a lot of good teams there and you know, there's four or five points separating a few of us, so it doesn't get any easier for us. We've got Liverpool next, followed by Man United. So, you know, you can't you can't look at games and think, oh, we can pick up points there. We've just got to keep keep believing in what we're doing, and believe in the manager, and, and believe in each other. We have a great great set of lads at the club who, I think, Saturday, uh, you know, wacko that we fight for each other, and 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 you know, we never say die, uh, we never give in, and and we continue to to go until the last minute. I think that's what a lot of people love about um, watching Leeds in the Premier League is that you don't go to games thinking, oh, we're trying to nick a point out of this or, or this is a gimme or this is a buy. You go into teams like Manchester City and feeling like you can win those games. And that that those comments about Marcelo Bielsa and what he does to players, you've got to as well, Stuart, haven't you? Have the right attitude to to take on board what he's saying, but actually want it yourself. So it kind of says a lot about the attitude of the Leeds players, really, that you've got a manager that will say what he wants, but you guys are the ones that that have to perform and have to take those lessons on board. Of course, yeah. I think it's just, it's, it is, it does be, uh, you know, the, the training that we put in is intense. Uh, you know, the, the games are intense as well, and there's a lot of information to take on board. And, you know, we have, we're in a privileged position where we're playing, uh, we have the opportunity to play in the Premier League and to play for a club like Leeds as well. So, you know, we represent a lot of people uh, with the club that we play for, and it's important that we uh, we apply ourselves in the right way, um, and just and just go into every game and, and give it a hundred percent. And that's all the Leeds fans ask for is is that we give everything, uh, and uh, hopefully then that you know the little bit of talent that we do have and within the squad can can take us into um, you know them higher positions. The end of last season, I know that there was a bit of a wait to to find out what Marcelo Bielsa was doing and whether or not he was going to sign another contract. And typically for him, it's a, a one-season contract and that's how it is. You're in that situation again. I imagine you're all sort of hoping he does because there's a few rumours knocking around that he might sign a two-year contract, which which would be quite um, unlike him. Yeah, I've, I've seen them, them rumours on, on Twitter and, and stuff. Uh, I don't know what'll happen. We're all hoping that he stays... Uh, you know what he's done for for us as individuals, uh, first and foremost, is has been incredible. As you as you touched on earlier, you know we were the core of our team. The majority of our squad was a, was a mid table championship team. You know three years ago, um, and now we're we're a mid table Premier League team at the minute. Um, mm. So it's it's been incredible, and and the changes he's made throughout the club as well has has been phenomenal. And you know hats off to to the hierarchy of the club who've who've managed to get him here. Um, and I think he enjoys it. Uh, you know, he loves the city and, and hopefully hopefully he's, he's here for uh, another few years yet. Mate, and we are going to let you go, but just <laughs> on behalf of everyone that plays fantasy football, just want to say thank you very much for this weekend. <laughs> 17 <laughs> points has done me wonders, mate. Yeah, there was a few that have benched me. I've seen that as well. So uh, <laughs> I'm glad I could return some points. <laughs> Stuart, well done this weekend and send a love to all the team as well and Marcelo Bielsa, congratulations, amazing well, performance Thanks for having me guys, Be thank safe, you mate. You are Cheers. so welcome Stuart Dallas yeah. there, um, brilliant performance from him and that, that side this weekend what they're doing in the Premier League is just absolutely incredible